Good morning, everybody. Coach Robert Gray here with Victory Performance. We are going over our phase two um, COVID-19 home workouts. Um, we are on uh, day two, week one for today. Okay, so um, if you look in here, we have dynamic warm up and the hinge raise series. Um, if you have the PDF, uh, there are hyperlinks there to, to what those series entail on YouTube. Um, if you don't, you can find those series on our YouTube channel or our Instagram uh, page. From there, we're going into our uh, power core and balance section. You'll complete these three exercises as a circuit. Okay. After you complete um, 1C, give yourself a little break before hopping back on to the dumbbell hang power snatches. Okay. Um, only two sets of those. Uh, so just um, take your time, use it as a learning opportunity for some of these newer movements, specifically that hang power snatch. Then you'll, you'll drop down into your strength for the day. We have a rotating thruster. <clears throat> you can do that with a dumbbell, kettlebell, um, any household object that we've done for overhead pressing. And then uh, 2B is an iso towel row plus split stance band row. Okay, and you'll see how those sets and reps are written here. We have 10 seconds of the iso towel row before going into 12 reps of our band row on that same side. Okay, so you'll do the iso and the, and the band row on one side before going to the other. And you'll see that in the demo coming up. And then after that, we have our 10 minute EMOM conditioning. EMOM stands for every minute on the minute. Um, you'll be completing five reps, as you can see in the parentheses there, five reps of a five to seven yard shuffle shuttle. So I want to look at the word shuttle real quick. Shuttle for us is going to indicate down and back. Okay, so one rep for our shuffle shuttle will be shuffling down five yards and back five yards. Once you complete your five reps within that minute, you'll rest until the top of the next minute. Okay, coming up, you guys are going to see some demos of each of the movements in today's training. Okay, guys, so you just finished your dynamic warm up and hinge raise series, and you're ready to go into your power core and balance section. So our power uh, drill for the day is going to be a dumbbell hang snatch, okay? So I'll show you that with the dumbbell first, um, and then I'll also show you that with um, a, a half a gallon of milk. It's filled with water, but you get the idea. So our uh, dumbbell hang snatch is going to start with uh, our feet underneath our hips, kind of like our hinge stance, um, pretty darn close to that. Okay, and then from here, we're just going to go into a soft knee bend, okay, maybe two or three inches, keeping our chest up, okay? So this is really the high hang. Okay, so we're going to bend, and then in one motion, we'll start by extending our legs and then punching the weight out overhead, okay? Hold here for one, two, before bringing it back down, resetting, and going into your next rep. Now, if you've got the coordination down for that variation of the hang, uh, hang dumbbell snatch, then you can move on, if you feel comfortable, to the uh, second variation, which is a dumbbell hang power snatch. And really what this means is that after we extend, we're going to re-bend our knees and we'll catch the weight overhead with our knees bent. Okay, so we'll go dip. Okay, again, catching with your knees bent and then standing up to finish. Okay, the key here is that even though we're, we're starting and finishing with our knees bent, in between, we have to extend our knees to really get the full effect. Okay, so knees bent, stand up. Okay, make sure that you're showing control on the catch regardless of which variation you're doing. Okay, holding here, abs are on, glutes and quads are on, okay? Or the power snatch variation. Okay? Again, this is a power drill where we're really trying to develop this skill of getting momentum and, and power generated in our lower body to transfer into our upper body. Once you've completed the power snatch, then we're into supine V-ups. So we're gonna be laying on the ground, and a V-up is a fairly challenging core flexion exercise, right? So 
Um, you guys can do this with your legs straight, which will be the most challenging variation of this, okay? But before we start, we need to ask ourselves, if my legs are straight, am I gonna be able to hold on to the appropriate torso position, okay? For me, I can maybe do two, three, maybe four really good straight leg V-ups before I start to lose my shape or my positioning, okay? So for this set, we're doing eight reps. So I'm gonna have to bend my knees maybe just a little bit to make sure that my positioning stays correct, okay? So low back's flat. I'm gonna come up into my V-up position, hold one, hold two, before coming down. Up into my V-up, hold one, hold two, and down. Okay, once you've completed eight reps, you can take a little break before moving on to your single leg bowler squats. So for our bowler squats, we're gonna use a really lightweight, you know, uh, zero to five pounds. Could be uh, a soup can, could be a, a thing of vitamin water or whatever it may be, okay? So this is another single leg balance type of drill. Okay, we're gonna be standing, I'm gonna stand on my left leg, I'll hold the weight in my right hand. Okay, from here I'm gonna bend my knee as much as I possibly can, while at the same time bringing this weight to the, out, to the opposite side of my body. Okay, that's one. And I'm gonna complete six on each leg, okay? Your tempo on that is gonna be two seconds down, one second pause, and then two seconds coming back up. Okay, so really take your time, develop a lot of time under tension with each rep, but then also within each set, okay? So you'll go through that two times uh, in the circuit fashion um, before moving on to your two strength movements for the day. The first strength movement is a rotating thruster, okay? So you can obviously use a dumbbell or a kettlebell to do this. I'm gonna show you with this tool bag that's full, filled with wrenches and a couple other things to help load it, okay? So, we're gonna have, uh, we're gonna be unilaterally loaded, which means we'll only have one weight, okay? We're gonna hold it on the right side of our body for this version, or for this, this rep, okay? So my feet are in my squat width. We'll start with a normal squat pattern, okay? On the way up, I'm gonna stand and rotate as I press overhead, okay? Return to the middle before starting the next rep. Okay, just like we did on the snatches a minute ago, we're gonna make sure we show control in that top position before going into our next rep, right? So really that just means we're gonna pause, make sure we have tension in the areas we need tension. Okay, so we have five per side on our rotating thrusters. Before going into our ISO uh, towel row plus a band row, okay? So, we can use an old towel, an old t-shirt, um, either, either one will be appropriate, okay? And both of these um, movements, movement variations, will be in um, a split stance. So, I'm gonna put my left foot in front on, on the towel, and then I'm grabbing the other end of the towel with my right hand, okay? From here, I'm gonna hinge over that front leg a little bit, Okay, to drop my chest down. And then I'm gonna allow my hand to slide up the towel as I perform a row. Okay, once I get to the top, I'm gonna clamp my hand down. Okay, and now I'm just holding onto that ISO row for 10 seconds. Okay, just trying to pull this towel apart. Okay, all of our normal rowing mechanics are involved here. Our abs are on, we're trying to retract that shoulder blade. Okay, um, pull it towards the middle of our back. Okay. Once you complete your 10 seconds, you'll drop the towel, okay, and you can uh, put a band, I have a mini band here that's looped, you can use a, a long band, that's okay as well. Okay, and I'm going to get it back into that split, and now I'm performing my 12 reps on the same arm. Okay, once you complete both 
movements on one side, then we'll switch to the other. Okay? We have three sets of each movement here. After you complete the band row on both on that second side, you can take a minute or so to roll out uh, or do any type of mobility or corrective exercises that we've talked about individually. Okay? After you complete your strength for the day, your conditioning is a 10 minute EMOM. Okay, so EMOM stands for every minute on the minute. Um, so you'll need to set a stopwatch or a timer on your phone or whatever it may be, okay? And set up cones that are roughly five to seven yards apart, okay? So I'm just gonna use the width of the turf here for my demonstration, okay? But if I start at this end, okay, at three, two, one, go, I'm gonna shuffle down, get to the cone and back, that's one rep, okay? I'll complete four more of those reps and then rest, okay? Let's just say that to complete my five reps, it takes me 25 seconds. That means that I have 35 seconds of rest before I start my next round, okay? And that next round will start at one minute on the clock. The round after that will start at two minutes on the clock, okay? So each round starts at the top of the next minute, okay? If you find yourself working longer than 30 seconds, just stop at 30, okay? Even if you've only done three reps or four reps, it's okay, okay? Once you complete 10 minutes, you're done for the day. Get yourself on a nice cool down, roll out, maybe go through your corrective exercises that we've discussed. All right, guys, good job. Wait